approaching. Hey guys, so in my last video, I asked you guys to hit me up and ask me some questions about the recruiting process. How did you get looked at for official visits? Um, I got a lot of letters my junior year towards the end. So after state and a little bit after regional, I started getting the times that were more impressive. Posted to set it up yourself. And there's also something called home visits and most colleges do do this. Um, Alabama actually came, Baylor came, TCU came. But during home visits, that's when they're gonna be like, okay, would you like to come for an official? And that's where you say yes or no after that visit with them. During a home visit, it's kind of, you just talk about your career there as an athlete and the facilities that they have, what they can do for you, stuff like that. So there's a lot of communication going leading up to an official visit. So how do you get a coach to recognize you? Or just be like really good in your event. Is that, that's the best way to get like a coach's attention and then contacting them. It's all about showing off, you know? You wanna brag about yourself and then introduce yourself but be polite in the email. Don't be like, you need to recruit me because I do this and the other and yada yada, I'm really fast in my state. But like your state could be like a small state and then you're like, um, okay, that's great you're fast in your state, but we're looking at all these other athletes. So just be like, hi, my name is this, that and the other. I go to this school, I'm a junior or senior or sophomore. I've been doing this event for this, amount of time and here are my times or I finished this season with all of that so that's how I started like that's how I start my emails and then I finish them with my name and then my number make sure that they have your number and all your contact information my first offer was actually from UNT which is University of North North Texas and this is like a smaller school in Texas but I was still like really really stoked he actually came for a home visit and I didn't know at the time what a little home visit was no one really told me and he called my mom and he was like oh, I really like to come meet you and stuff like that and my mom and I were like oh, okay you mean it's at the Canes like we literally met him at the Canes but if the coaches want you then they're gonna meet you wherever you say so that was that and I didn't know that he was trying to like kind of do like a home visit but that's obviously what he was trying to do but um, he was saying full ride and I was like, oh my God, that's crazy, like full ride, what? Like, he laid out like everything, like he laid out their schedule and um, their facility, how it looks, their track. I was like, wow, he's like really serious. Put out, pulled out the iPad, I was like, okay. Okay, unofficial versus official visits. Unofficial is when you have to pay for everything. So your travel, food, in hotel yeah you do meet the team and you can watch practice that's what i know but for official visits like they take you out they pay for everything for you you get to try on the uniforms take photos um go out with the team drive with them go to their dorms hang out with them or their apartments or stuff like that i don't know if this is true but you guys said like the team kind of puts their own opinions on you like did they like you when you came were you social like all that so that's that the team has to like you too i guess i don't know but or you so go like that don't even matter anymore oh during your official visit you have a meeting with the coaches and the staff at the end which they talk about your offer what you're gonna get and honestly whatever you get don't worry about it like full ride that's perfect <laughs> and then if it's like 50% or 80% and you have to think about how much are you giving them it's like a business so you need to have the right times for them to give you as much money as possible how many total visits did I go on okay so visits just all of them USC Arkansas one two three four five so seven When I, on my first visit, which was Oregon, I was like, this is definitely my place. And plus I started thinking about the benefits, like the history of pro athletes that they have is crazy. And in some way, like they always end up on top. It was my dream school, even before I did track. I started, I was a power tumbler and I knew I wanted to do power tumbling at Oregon. So it kind of was just crazy how that kind of all worked out. And it's still crazy how I'm gonna be an Oregon duck. As I was, 
kind of waiting to sign they're like hey this money's gonna be gone or we can't offer you this anymore unless you say yes or no and coach johnson he like knew which was from my oregon coach he knew i wanted to go there like he could see it in my eyes but i was doing this whole like big decision thing <laughs> i wanted to finish all five um not the moment when i was in oregon you know you kind of like get sidetracked you're like yo this is my school which it was because that was my dream school but then after going all other visits it was like shoot all the schools have amazing facilities great coaches um but it happens like it's a business they're waiting for you to say yes or no so they can distribute their money or just hold it for you keep people out of your ear because that's what i was not doing which is hard to do because everyone's like girl you look you look good in that Oregon uniform. Like you better go to Oregon. Or people be like, "Girl, you love Bama. Like you, you love Bama. Like those are the comments." Or people be like, "Nah, Arizona, cause that that hurdle coach, bro, coach, coach Harvey. He worked with Sage Watson. Like everybody knew that. Everyone knew that. They're like, bear down, bro, bear down." And I was like in the hallway, like, "Dang, I'm not having. I don't even know where I'm going. Y'all need to calm down." Okay, so I'm done with all the questions, but. There's just a few things I want to say. For starters, my process is different from yours or it will be different from yours. Everyone's process is definitely not the same. It can be a lot easier. Like if you already know you want to go and you're not trying to <laughs> see any others, like it can be easier, it can be hard. Um, and remember that these coaches are investing in you. You want to have enough for them to be able to invest as much as possible into you because it is a business and I keep on saying it because you guys need to understand that and that's something that I had to remind myself with this process. They really want you, like they, they want you to sign to their school and run for them. Like that's, that's a huge deal and it's a blessing. And you can choose whether to negotiate or not. You need to know when to say no when you're, when all these coaches are talking to you. Like there'll be coaches when they come into your recruiting process when you're literally in it like in the middle of it and they're like hi i'm blah blah and i'd love for you to come to my visit or talk to me or call me and i was like oh, i can't do that like i can't i'm so sorry like that's that's probably like the worst timing bro but when you are canceling a school <laughs> canceling well you need to be really nice about it don't be like hi i don't like i don't want to come to your school it's, it's ugly it's it's not it's not my dream school i'm sorry Beep. don't do that definitely call them don't text them call them and be professional say hi thank you for showing interest in me but this is not where i really see myself um but thank you so much for the opportunity to talk to you about your school yeah they totally understand it's it's part of the process it's part of the business the same way these coaches can cut you off is the same way you can you're allowed to cut them off it's a short period of time where you're in this process and you gotta think quickly on your feet. <laughs>